मैं इसराइल की बात नहीं कर रही बट एनी वे ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन सदानंद गो है सदानंद यस Uh, I think at this point it's very clear, sort of, you know, the the point I wanted to make in my article has been made clear, which is that the Indian left, including the Congress, somehow has great difficulty when it comes to condemning the outright barbarism of Hamas. They pussyfoot. They want to drag in other things and so on. Um, the part about proportionality was just to make a point of what 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 international law says on this. I'm not even even getting into the debate or beyond that. I just wanted to correct the correct. Mr. Jha factually, since he seems to style himself as some kind of intellectual, it's a very basic fact of how proportionality works in international law. Um, but beyond that, I want to, you know, the point we've 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 established what the sort of battle lines are politically. I think very clearly from this conversation. I think that we have not addressed in this discussion is how will this play out nationally. Mm. My argument is that not only is this morally objectionable. That's my and they can disagree with that. but my point is that beyond that it is also politically stupid because what congress is doing over here with its leftist allies it is replaying the mistakes it's made it made in the 1990s and the 1980s it is basically allying with the most fundamentalist element of muslim opinion and by doing so it is digging its own grave is my view can i ask you something before i take that to the others you are in america their biden th- th- these polarities are not unique to india right the biden administration that has stood in solidarity with israel uh, while talking about humanitarian assistance to gaza is under enormous pressure from the arab american community and from young americans the gen z's who do not agree you had campus protests that have gone and taken down posters of hostages that have been put up on college walls how is this playing out politically there before we look at it politically here so the big difference over here is that the progressives in america is about six, are about 6% of the population So of course the Democrats have to kind of balance different constituencies, but the point is that in India, if you play the same script that you played in the 1980s and the 1990s, which is what Congress did with Shah Bano and Salman Rushdie and so on, they play the same script now. My view is that even if you think they're wonderful, uh, it's just very it's a, it's a very foolish playbook because I think ordinary people watching your show were absolutely repelled and disgusted by the acts of Hamas on October 7th. they can they and ordinary people do not will not feel comfortable with a party or a movement that basically seeks to minimize those horrors okay let me get quick last comments to that i know everybody has to go varis very quickly from you sanjay i'll come to you right after that uh, that this is stereo this is you know stereotyping the indian muslim doing a disservice to muslims but also sadar and singh it's politically not smart it's politically reinforcing actually the right wing narrative on on how uh, muslims would react how do you respond to that well first and foremost thing this is not politics in world here this humanity is also in world here you kill 8000 plus civilians is it politics you kill more than 3000 children you do genocide you do ethnic cleansing is this not against the humanity this is politics israel is playing deep dirty politics just to take revenge that is what i said you are using phosphorus which is a banned and illegal thing you are using that bombs on civilians you are not allowed to use that and who's playing politics and what is what what will the palestinians gain by this the israelis want to have an upper hand in that area barka let me tell you that's why they are bombing those places where hamas is not there the negligible presence of hamas that places they are also bombing they say okay within 10 hours you go to the south go to uh, ramallah egypt we'll open the borders people flock to the south and he bombarded that place how would you believe that and why should muslims not stand for palestine may i know that the entire world is standing pro palestine even the jews are against this uh, netanyahu they have taken out a huge rally in the united states highly what the entire world today i say they are calling israel a terrorist state and they are in support of the palestinian because the world supports okay. humanity why is fatar stands with palestine i stand with humanity my india stands with humanity my india stands with palestine thank you india Okay, very passionately uh, concluded remarks there. I just want to say to Sanjay before you make your remarks, something I wanted to show our viewers were crazy images from Russia today. Uh, you must have seen them, where a where a mob actually storms an airport looking for passengers from Tel Aviv. So this is playing out in all kinds of ways, right? Uh, and and let's also acknowledge that. Uh, Sanjay, go ahead. Sanjay, last comments? Yeah, yeah. Barkha, very quickly. I think it was sickening, not just disgusting, but sickening. that sadanand dhume here talked about the politics over gaza 
He has not a word of sympathy, barring the cosmetic lip service that he gave in his introductory talk, where he said, yes, of course, I agree that what's happening in Gaza is wrong. It's sickening that he talks of politics in India of when this is a humanitarian catastrophe going on for both sides. I think the stance of the Congress party, and I have maintained it here on your show, is that you have to condemn both sides of the action. And I think we have done it unequivocally. We have not been clever by half. And Barkha, it is very important for me to point out here because there has been an attempt by both Yashwant and Dhome to try and target the Congress. But let me tell the viewers the truth. Dhome writes for the Wall Street Journal. We all know it's a conservative right-wing thinking Modoc empire. We all know which political stance that he has. So let us not sit here in Washington and pontificate on the political repercussion in India when if we had a heart and a conscience, Mr. Dume, we should have been thinking okay. about humanity. For a change, we should have been thinking about humanity, man. Okay, Shame Asad, I'm very brief. I have nothing to say. This is silly political grandstanding. I have nothing to say to that. Please move on to Yashwant. And by the okay. way, you're not even a half-baked intellectual. Okay, okay. What is this going on? This is highly personalized exchanges. We don't No, no, it's okay. It's Let's... okay. We need to call it no, out. No, 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 but... Acha, okay. Let's. I think we can take your dis. Your disagreements are offline. Varis has to leave, so I'm going to ask Yashwant. Yeah, to I've got this. another channel. Just yes, for, just uh, give us thirty seconds. Yashwant will okay, have a closing okay. remark in thirty seconds. Please Yashwant, go ahead. Yes. I think. Uh, I think uh, beyond the binaries of right and wrong, the biggest casualties are obviously the you know innocent civilians on both the sides. You know, and uh, and obviously uh, the stance have to be taken very clearly. There is not just polarization in India, Barka, but as you mentioned, there is a uh, there, it's a it's a global issue, if I may say so, because not a single society, not a single country uh, would be left behind, be, you know, be, beyond the case of polarization on this particular issue. I feel so, and we are looking at a lot of political mobilization on either side of the fences in every society, you know. And if if yeah. you ask me as a as a only focusing on India, I think somehow uh, Varis Patan and his party is placing themselves correct because they are very correctly focusing on that part of the spectrum where they are going to gain a lot. It's up to the Congress actually whether they want to eye what Mr. Varis Patan is eyeing or they want to look into the bigger pie. That's the political side of it. I'm I'm as a political analyst, I'm just saying that. It's for Mr. Sanjay to decide and his party to decide. But overall speaking, things the way it are, uh, they are moving, Barkha, it is ironical that in today's age and time, even today, we find it really hard for people to come up and say that children on either side of the thing, if they are, you know, uh, killed, it is wrong. Imagine I would have, I mean, it's, it's really pathetic to think as on today, that people find it difficult yeah. to say, you know, and Absolutely. they would figure Absolutely. out that only one side is saying the correct thing I, and other side actually, is always saying the wrong thing. And if we yeah. start looking at innocent life and children through that prism, it would be a sorry state yeah. of affairs.